Hey guys, Coupons Provide here and today I'm coming at you with a quick thrift store haul. I went out to King Dollar today and I decided to stop in at Value Village and good thing I did because it was actually 50% off. I had no clue. I just wanted to stop and see what they had because it was calling my name and how awesome was everything. So I'm going to show you the home decor first and then I'm going to go over some kit items that I found that I thought were really cool for the price. So let's just get started. So starting off here, I couldn't be more excited about this. Now, even though I kind of like the whole distressed and like raw old look to it, it's, I might refinish it because it's super pretty and big. But guys, check this out. This is a wood turntable and it is, or Lazy Susan, whatever you want to call it, Lazy Susan. Um, anyway, it's big. Because look, I have it sitting on the center of my old table and look how much room it takes up. It's like huge. Anyway, it was $2.12. So I got it for a dollar six. That is so awesome, especially when you can sand it down because it is real wood and you can restain it yourself. It doesn't even matter. Same thing with this one. This one is also a lazy Susan, real wood so pretty and this one was or no this one's particle board it looks like but it has a that really thin wood top coat on it anyway 191 how awesome is that so i got it for like 90 cents that's so cool all right not 90 cents but whatever happened 191 is so next i found these now these were 292 so that made it about a buck 45 a piece they are these really nice um I don't know what you call these. I don't know, these really cute trays. They're flat. Now this one is a, almost like a matte look and then the other one's kind of, I don't know. The other ones are kind of more glossy than this one. But anyway, they're a really great size. I'm going to paint them and change them up a little bit. And I thought that was awesome for a buck 40-ish a piece. Check them out. And they're nice, nice size. I really love them. I only got one. And I was debating on getting the other two and then I just went ahead and went for it. So cool thing, I found these two now, or no, not these two together, but I actually found this one at Pennywise for a dollar and I thought it was gorgeous. And then when I was in Valley Village today, I found this even bigger one. Now this one's actually 151, but it was 50% off of that. So not bad at all. Now I have a little set which is great because I was actually using it on my table right now as a little decor piece. So that is perfect. Moving on, I found these two wooden boxes that I thought would make great trays or little frames or whatever you want to use them for. This one is a Melissa and Doug box and it was a buck and I got it for 50% off of that. It's a really nice size. You could throw some leather straps on there for handles. You can add some hardware for handles, whatever you want to do. It's a really great formed box. So I'm glad I got that one. And then this one, I believe was 80 cents. So it was half of that. And again, these are just the boxes for like puzzles or whatever it is that they had in there. But to get them for a few cents, it's already made. Like you don't have to worry about it. You can customize it and change it for super, super cheap. Okay, moving on, I found this pepper grinder. I really wanted one, but I wanted a big one, and they're like 14 bucks, nine to 14. And this one is a really nice solid, sorry about that, the hubby called me. Okay, so I wanted a really nice solid wood one, and this one is actually a buck 81, so I only paid 50% of that. It is so pretty. I'm just gonna sand it down a little bit and kind of add the stain that I like so that it coordinates better with the kitchen, because it's kind of had like a reddish wood look to it, and if I just sand it really good, I can uh, restain it and have it more of that black ebony look that we're looking for. Okay, so there's that, half of that. Moving on, I found this really cool bowl, or I don't know what this is. It says property of Continental Airlines, whatever they use it for. It was half of a buck 81. It's a super gorgeous silver bowl. I love it. Kind of looks like a hubcap like that. <laughs> I love it. I thought a draping plant or something would look really nice in here. So I went ahead and picked that one up. And then I found this. It's a silver plate. It's right here. Silver plate Newport by Gorham. This one was half of $2.92. I thought it was gorgeous. I don't know what it is about this tarnished look that I love. But I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Because I really like that. And it would be nice to have like a little planter on there. 
so cute all right and then i got some more of these baskets i've gotten several of these before i'm going to be spray painting them a little bit and this one was half of 80 cents and then this one was half of 90 and this one was a four pack one two three four yeah four pack and uh, yeah those are just really cute you can use them as a planter stand or a base for a planter pot for actually serving your paper plates on or just decorative layer fun stuff or whatever you want to do with that next i actually got this for the hubby i thought this was super cool i've actually seen something like it on facebook and i wanted to order it and it wasn't a buck 81 and it wasn't 50 percent off of that and he said it was pretty cool but he didn't really think he would use it for the price so i found it for half of a buck 81 it's awesome for getting those random angled measurements whenever you're measuring around different things for cutting like cutting tile cutting wood or whatever so i did go ahead and pick that up i thought it was a great piece to add to his uh tool stash so there is that and then there was this one so neat it actually looks like it has like a laser etched number in there i don't know what if it, what it's for it looks like some kind of kitchen um stainless like for a restaurant stainless stuff but i'm going to clean it up and it was half of 3.93 it is beautiful you could use it as a little flip file or you could use it for holding napkins you can hold use it for holding whatever you want i think it's gorgeous okay so there's that and then i found this board it looks like a scrabble board but i'm not really sure what it is i thought it would be fun to use as a layer base you can just layer stuff on top of it for decor and it was only half of 212 so that in itself made it totally worth it because it actually folds here in the middle like so so that's really neat and it is real wood so that's awesome so that is it for the home decor adult stuff now we can go ahead and move on to the kids stuff if you are interested in seeing what i got for the kiddos okay so here is everything that i got for the kiddos i am so excited for them to dive in and play with these goodies so let's go ahead and just jump in so the first thing that i got i had to get it when i saw it is the headbands old school version i didn't i don't know if it has the date 1991 guys holy cow macaroni so you know this is a big thing now and then you also play it with the I forgot what the one is with the phone where you can flip it down and you put it back up and then you say what it is, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I got this one. It's old school. It had everything in it. It's headbands and it was only 90 cents. So I actually got it for 45 cents. That is awesome. And it comes with all of the pieces. You have the little board pieces, the timer, the board itself, the instructions, and even the cards. And there's a stack of cards, guys check that out so you really can go through a lot of different things and make it really fun and then this one i found brand new in the package it was actually 90 cents so i got it for 45 cents and you guys know or if you don't know boogie actually is really good at puzzles and he likes playing memory and all that good stuff and summertime is coming up so i thought this would be really fun to play with them during the summer for 45 cents it's brand new it has the little felt board all of the little memory i would uh, they're not cards they're felt but whatever all the little cards and all that stuff so for 45 cents you can't beat it and then this it's the little poochies and co purse a friend of mine actually just they got they got one for her daughter and i believe it was a unicorn i don't remember but i saw this one and i was like no way y'all know i don't have any girls so i don't know what this stuff retails for if you know let us down below in the, let us know down below in the comments for those of us that are just curious I got it for half of two twelve, so I got it for a buck and change. And she's so cute and like brand new. You can see the little tag there. It's so adorable. And I know she just got hers as well, so now she can have another one. And it's so precious. So I don't get to see things like that in this house. When I saw it in the store, I had to pick it up for. Her. All right, moving on. I found this now. Uh, of course, I have a bunch of boys, and I thought this would be really cool. Inside this box, there's a ton of wires and a bulb and all kinds of other crap that they can play with and experiment with because, you know, boys like to, like, do weird stuff. So I thought they would have fun with this. It is the Electronic Playground 130, and it is a learning center, and it has the whole booklet and everything that they can play with and connect things with and do and 
all that. So I thought they would have fun tinkering with that, especially Stevens since he likes to like take things apart and figure out how they work and all that. Even though it can be frustrating as an adult, as a kid, he's just curious and I know that. So I did want to get him something like this. I was actually going to like buy him a VCR one time and just let him dismantle it and see what it does. But this is just a little bit more purposeful and safe probably. <laughs> so I was glad that I found this and it looks really cool, really interesting. And it has a lot of parts inside there, but they're all kind of like falling around everywhere. So I didn't even bring any of that out. It's basically more wire like this, short wire, different color wires that I guess they can connect and do different things with, with the book. So there is a layout. And then I found this one. It's the kids headbands. It's a second edition, seven and up, and it's brand new. Had all the pieces except for the little headband, which of course in this house is not a problem because I have a lot of the really long elastic bands that they can just use uh, for the game. So why not, right? Anyway, picked it up. It was only half of 80 cents. So it was only 40 cents and got us a whole other board game or not board game, but a whole family game for 40 cents. Not bad. And then I found this. The boys like to do stuff like this. It is the Giant Family Fun Pet Search and Find Plus Sticker Puzzle. It's really cute and it's super huge and it has all the stickers. Here's the page for you to create your own little uh, scenery and stuff. They have all the little stickers here. All the stickers are there and it's just a bunch of puzzles that they give you a list of things to find and I thought everybody would get a puzzle or a sheet and then we'd kind of have like a time and um, see who can get most, the most in the most time, or see who finishes first, give them some prizes, maybe let them pick some candy from the candy jar or something like that. It's really adorable, and we like looking at stuff like this anyway, so you can see how they have all their little, it's just really cute, like a where, where's Waldo, but on a larger scale, I guess. Really cool, and they're all different. They give you so much to look for, so that's pretty neat, and it says $9.99 really cute so i did pick that up now this one was only i think like 50 cents or something like that yeah it was a book so half of that is what i paid and then um i i found a ton of the geronimo stilton books and i know adam likes to read these because i actually sat here at the table one night and kind of like read and acted out <laughs> a little bit of his book that he had last week anyway since school's almost out and uh, I don't know about library and all that out here, especially with all the house projects that we have. I'm really glad to give him some books that he hasn't read. He hasn't read um, a lot of these. So that being said, I found this one, super huge book, The Kingdom of Fantasy. And this one was half of a book, so only 50 cents. Not bad because it is a hardcover book. And then here I got him The Curse of the Cheese Pyramid. They are Stilton and the Secret City. Oh, I guess these are the girl books. Oh, cute. I didn't know that. I just noticed that because I saw this was metallic and none of them are like that except for this one and this one. It says they are Stilton. Okay, so anyway, uh, and the Secret City. All of these were 90 cents, so I only paid 40-ish, 45 cents. And this one is Temple of the Ruby Fire, Cat and Mouse in the Haunted House, Ghost Pirate Treasure, uh, Thea Stilton and Dragon's Code, Four Mice Deep in the Jungle, The Fast and the Frozen, The Haunted Castle, and Save the White Whale. So I am so happy that I found these, mainly because I know he likes to read them. And summer's coming up, and you got to keep their brains working. Of course, you want to get them something that they like, so they actually pay attention while reading. And yeah, so that is pretty much it. I think I scored today finding a ton of things for just pennies on the dollar and that whole and this thing here this turntable thing or lazy susan i was actually debating on getting one from ikea for the 9.99 i think it was the size of the smaller one and i never got it because i didn't want to pay 10 bucks for it so now i paid like a dollar and i got one so i'm so happy and i know the hubby's gonna be happy because he's the one who was like well will you use that and he doesn't really give me crap, but sometimes I'm just like, yeah, 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 no, I probably won't. But for a dollar, I will. All right, so that is pretty much it for this Value Village haul. I do hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like this video, hit that thumbs up button, comment down below and let me know what one of your favorite finds are from your local thrift stores or 
Have you ever found pears in separate thrift stores? I thought that was pretty cool to find another leaf in the same set, but a different size. That's awesome because it's not like you have the same thing. Anyway, let me know, let us know, share something that you really love finding at your thrift stores down in the comments below. Follow me on my social medias at Instagram or Facebook, my Facebook group at Coupons Provide. And don't forget guys, keep couponing. Bye.